Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Welcome to another Cornish Quest. Today we are at Trethorne. We are at Trethorne Hotel and Golf Club. This is the location for our charity golf day. So if any of you are gonna play on that, this would be useful for you to watch. We've got seven spaces left when I do this video. So if you're interested, please get in touch with me. Uh, tickets are 55 pounds. August 27th, I think off the top of my head. It's a Tuesday, Tuesday after the bank holiday Monday. If it's wrong, I'll put the details in below. Now, because it's Trethorne, you've, you, you've seen the course on the hotel quite a few times here. Fantastic location, just off the A30, near Launceston. And we've got members. We've already got members who are actually Buccaneers. So we've got Steve Treby, Mr. I go find the ball for you everywhere, I move the camera everywhere. And his, and his son, Alfie, who is getting bigger by the minute. And, and yeah, and we haven't got the other nil today. The good news is we got Devonshire nil. I was going to say the bad news is we haven't got the Cornish nil, but the good news is we got Devonshire nil. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, it's freezing. It's my fault. I got a new hat. Okay. So for the person that commented saying, where are you buying? Where, where's the big hat? I've got a new one. The black one. I'm a bad boy from now on. All right. So we're going to crack on because it's early morning. We're going to get going. Three videos, six on each video. We're playing Scramble. Cornish Quest, everybody. Right, we're on the first hole. Okay. So it's a par four, dog leg right. Okay. 373 off the yellows. Okay. Yeah, we're which... playing off the yellows today because yes. you, you and Alfie have been playing in comps for the last two days here. Off yes, the blues. Off the blues, which is the furthest tees. Yeah, I'm um, you to over hit a lot of shots today, lad. Yeah, they're interesting on the eighth and the ninth hole where you're hitting over the, the water. Yeah. But this one should be good. Um, straight up, you can cut the corner okay. on this one, which well, we'll if Alfie goes straight, I might give it a go. Okay. Oh, I think that's a superb shot. That gets us in play. Shot Alfie. Cheers. He's playing so well right now, honestly he is. Right, so the young man's played, let the old man play now. Well, did you did you notice uh, Devonshire? I'm gonna call you Devonshire until you change your name. Okay. Did, did you notice that there was no excuses from, the, from a young person? He's come straight and hit it. It was just an old, just an old knee that's gone, an old knee. An old knee that's gone a bit wrong. He, he was on crushes last night, so you say. <laughs> Oh, look, Steve, is it worth it? I reckon you could go for it, mate. Is that an aging handicap, was that? But yeah, I know, he's an aging <laughs> handicap, I know. I wish Still? we were in a real scrabble with his, with his score right now. We got, can, can we go a few comps while well, you're yeah, still at 18, I'm mate? Yeah. 18 over, oh. it's enough, it's enough. Right. I'm going to go for the corner. Well, so this might be interesting on your shot, Tracy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can, I can draw it in. I'm not going to take a shot because you've got two down there where I'd be going. I'm still resting this back a little bit. Well, you've gone for it, and actually, you've uh, faded it. That could be very good, Steve. That looks very good. I right, didn't we're going to crack it as on. Much as I wanted to, <laughs> the shock on his face, honestly. Right, nice to have John back at Trethorne, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, nice to have Alfie driving. Just can't wait until you're 17, pass your car test. We can come out and play golf. I can have a few beers, and you can drive me on. How That's low nice do you think there. we can go? Um, I reckon. Five under. Five under? Yeah. Oh, very confident on that. Where did your drive go? Mine's just there. Uh, oh, yeah. Have I gone too long? Oh, no. No, it was there. Uh, I found there, so that's quite good. So, um, that's, that's where we're going. Although Steve walked in front of the camera, that's fine. That's where so we're going. He's well trained, is Steve. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, we'll see where we take the shot from. Oh, he goes so high. On a bit left. A bit left. And short. Right then, Alfie, let's see what you got, mate. We can make this a Treby show today and we haven't got to do anything, though. Yeah. One a bit left, one a bit right, yeah? Yep. Oh, a little bit right as well. I'm going to go and grab a club. 
Oh, look at me stealing a tea already. So John's here to save the day. <laughs> yeah, Neil did send me a message yeah, I about uh, you and your teas, John. Right. Oh. Did I get there? Well, mine was straighter than yours, lads. It was, it's yeah. a good direct the direction was great. Yeah. <laughs> so Steve's on the other camera. We took Alfie's, well done, mate. I love the way that Steve's is talking to a camera, but actually the microphone on there is plugged into me. <laughs> Very good. I'll get Steve in the microphone in a minute, so when he does do that kind of talking, we can have a microphone there. On the green, it's a good start we've got there. Very good, mate. Some worrying thing we've got me and Alfie on camera, camera, camera duty now. You know the line is anywhere, I've got seven on me on left. Oh, too fast. Too fast. Okay. A little bit swift. A little bit swift, that's, that's unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a nice shot. Oh, come on. Very nice shot. Greens are quick, though. They roll Green, into, greens yeah. are very good. Really you, you swift. Think the, the weather we've had this winter, yeah. the, the greens are fantastic. You've got, it's the time of the year where the seed head is starting to come up. Yeah. So it can make it slow, but I think they've been out and cut the, the greens already today. So it looks should, good. Should yeah, they were out nice. early this morning. Yeah. I know, I was here early this morning. That looks <laughs> yeah. great. You carry on. I'm going to just set up a little wireless mic for Steve. Is it on, is it? It will be in a minute. Is it recording, John? Yeah. It, it is recording, yeah, but you haven't got it on you, mate, so I've still got it here. <laughs> no, no point in talking about anything, but you still know when you're a microphone, mate. There you go. I forgot Steve loves being on the camera. I know, no swearing. <laughs> no heavy breathing either. It takes me hours to sort the audio out. I did say I wasn't needed, lad. Come on. Tree biz one. <laughs> the rest of Devon and Cornwall nil. Yeah. Okay, we'll get on to the next hole. I think that was a par, wasn't it, gentlemen? Yeah, that was par. That was a par. par. Good start. Right, Steve, yep. so we're on hole two, mate. I thought I'd just grab you before we start. Hole up. two, yes. So uh, another par four. Okay. 293 yards on this one. Yep. So just straight down, okay. but it does sort of funnel into the green. Yeah, there's quite a narrow little green at the other end, isn't there? It is. So mostly if I was playing on my own, yep. I always maybe just a seven iron, lay up, give me a hundred yards in. Give you a chance in, yeah. Greens does slope away from you. Okay. As well. so sometimes landing on the green, it can go all the way to the back. Um, I see how he's got his driver out, so well, I think he's going for a bit. He knows exactly what he's doing. They, they, were, they were playing from up here yesterday. I had no idea where they were going. I didn't even know the blues existed, mate. He went for it. Got a bit right, hasn't it? Okay. That's coming around very nice, I think. Right, John's up next. <gasps> With his big hat. Yeah, he was just worried about it falling off. <laughs> I did say I didn't lose a ball in the first hole. Yeah. I think you might have lost that one. I think I might have lost that one. I know where it is. <laughs> I'll put it that it's tree. In the field. I'll put it that tree. Uh, well, we think that. Devonshire is down there, don't we? That's big and straight. Right. It's a little bit right, isn't it? Yeah. Bit nice. We'll, we'll go and have a look. Never tried that before. <laughs> nice to have a try, but if you've got one down there safe, you might as well go for it. But the uh, 
Yeah, you'll be down there, nice chip on. Brady Pup? Yeah. Good chance. Toad. You want to try to get the body on a scramble. Short par four. One thing the uh, paths are a bit bumpy and there's not much suspension on these buggies, is there? A bit muddy down there. A little bit. Somehow, I'm not sure how you got there because I thought we were going to skirt over there I somewhere. It was over there. We you must have come, come down this way, right. bounded off the path, and we're here. We're taking Devonshire's. Well, I thought I'd better muscle in on the Treby show. Well, someone's got to because it's certainly not my show right now. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a bit um, fiery, maybe. Oh, well, no, not too bad. Just about on the right. So that's been chipping well recently. Nice. Go on, little bounce. Oh, oh it's it's lucky. Need to be a little bit more. You're right, it is a bit muddy, isn't it? It is a little bit muddy. Okay. It's still remaining the Treby show because that's a lovely shot for you, mate. I know. I've got my drive in. By the time about seven for eight volt, I'll be in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to muscle in on the Trebies a little bit. That's a shot. That nice. Ten, exactly the same shot, both of them. I know. I know. Father and son, eh? Right then, so it's actually become the uh, Devonshire show this whole so far. It's in the fact that actually three of them. Is it? Is it three of them, Steve, to come from Devonshire? Is... We, we were all born in Devon. Well, yeah, even Alfie? Well, I'm not Neil well. wasn't born in Devon. But he lives there, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, just outside of Plymouth originally. Alfie's still there. Alfie's born at Exeter Hospital. Well, there you go. Right then. So we're taking mine by default, not by skill, I think. Yeah. It's, uh... By the port, everybody Just else. Off the green. Nice pace. Hmm. You know that went straight. Not really good. Oh, good effort, Alf. Hold it. That's a distance. Pick any one of those, absolutely <laughs> fine, they're all the same. Yeah, let it be the Devonshire show. I was actually thinking, when we uh, we filmed here a few years ago with the two Treebies, when I was with the other Neil, yeah. uh, the only thing that kind of let Alfie down was putting. We were saying that the young, younger juniors, they don't really get into putting, they love all the other stuff, fantastic style. Yeah. And Which is, recently, his putting's been really good. Yeah. But you said the last two days, you, your putting just hadn't quite been there, is it? Well. Uh, that, that was as good as everybody else is, I'm not complaining about that. Yeah. Need to do putter, Steve, that's what you need. That's <laughs> brand new yeah. one last year. <laughs> right, let's try and see when we finish it off. Go on, Mr. D. Hero ho. There we go. Who needs anybody else, that's what I say. Let's get on to hole number three. Still level five. Yeah, I'm going now. <laughs> Okay, Steve, hole number three. Hole number three. Apparently the easiest hole on the yeah. course. Not yesterday when you played, Steve, no. No, you, you can get into difficulty. So, par five, and it is uh, from the yellows, 460 yards. Okay. But it is, once you get past the markers, it's downhill. It's downhill, isn't it? To the hole. So, in the summer where the ground's really dry, the board just runs down it. Yeah, once you so, get over that hill. It's my one hoe I've had an albatross on. <laughs> not, not, well, it'd be nice if you did it today, Steve, but on... But I got lucky. On evidence from yesterday, no. <laughs> and went in. But you've got um, a mark, there's two markers. The first marker ideally is when you're playing off the blues back there. Yeah. And the second marker is your aiming point. Yeah, okay. Anything slightly left is better. Anything right does right. roll down. Okay. Well, that was pretty much straight over the mark point. Sure. Well done, mate. No, well, that's, that's right. sweeping right. That's not good. 
not good. Yeah, that's where you can get the, the, the danger. There is quite a lot of strong wind. It's actually building up up there again. It's quite breezy. Yeah. Now the other marker post. Oh, Wrong <laughs> marker post, John. But the top top left is always a good good place to be. So Steve has just told me normally it hits a hybrid, so he's got the driver out this time. Yeah, well, <laughs> when you've got Alfie, Alfie's in prime in position. position. Yeah. Good hit. Honestly. So yeah, that might be a top side. Anyone but... think you've been practicing, lads? Last two <laughs> days in a row, yeah. <laughs> Taking mine. Okay. Although, Alfie outdrove me. Okay. Just had the trees in the way. Yeah, it, it slopes down to the right and then you get the trees in the way. The green is the other side of those trees. You'll see that in a second. Yeah, so it, I would say about 210 okay. down to it. Um, slopes down, so if you're hitting it about uh, one... 170, you'll hit the down slope when it will run yeah. down. Um, but I'm going to go hybrid. It's okay. about a 200 yard. Yeah, yeah. They look very good. Drifting a bit right. We're kind of down there, aren't we? Yeah, right, right at the bunker there. Okay. I'd say. Nice. That's good too. Drifting a bit right. Yeah, you'll both be similar places, I think, won't you? There's a little plateau down there, okay. which Neil might have just hit. Oh, run it down the hill. You never know. <laughs> you tried to hit that one hard, didn't you? <laughs> That's the nature of scrambling, isn't it? You try to do it hard. Yeah. When you, when you know you've got some down there. Current. I'm just trying to hit it. You know, you just go for it. Good pick up. Oh, look, he just off the toe a bit. Good contact, then. I can find that one on the other phone. <laughs> yeah, I can find mine and yours, I think. <laughs> I think I'm tired, mate. I've had two four o'clock <laughs> starts. Yeah. John's tired and on the third hole. <laughs> I was actually tired from yesterday, honestly. Um, I've been doing some pictures and some footage here for the social media for uh, Trafford, and I was on this course four times yesterday, doing bits and pieces, not playing, unfortunately. But um, following different course, different people on the course, getting freezing up at the crack of dawn, literally two days in a row. I'm exhausted, having done three holes. In the fire bunker. Now, when you told me to stand by the bunker with a camera, you didn't know which bunker. You didn't explain <laughs> no, yourself, no, did I you? Didn't no. Tell him which bunker. Um, we're, well, we picked Steve's and then I realised where we had to film from. So um, it's an interesting well, shot, this. You might see some of it, you might not. They don't call me Treeby. Well, they don't <laughs> so, call you Treeby for nothing. I no. see spelt Tree. Bye. Yeah. So. Bye, yeah. So, a nice chip on. Yeah. Oh, bit of a dance. I can't guarantee what this um, other camera work is going to be like. I'm not in control of that one. You'll have to trust us. That looked very good. Better. That's better. You're on there. I'll have to go some to beat Steve, really. Well, yeah, that's, that's very good. Good shot. I will get into this game, but I just, I don't, not really need it right now, and I'm, I don't mind about that at all. Oh, that's good. Oh, that, um, that's, 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 I could do that. Oh, I'm going to film it as well, but mine might hold up on the back. Oh, see, I could do the same as you, mate. You can. Yeah. Good. That is good. Oh, with me. Yeah, so it looks like it's Steve by the look of it. Sorry, Steve. Birdie opportunity. Birdie opportunity. Sorry. Flag out, Steve, I notice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. after uh, Bowwood. Yeah, flag out. Always have the flag out, unless oh, unless it's a downhill putt. Looks nice, but you didn't get excited on the way through, so no. No. Yeah, there was a bit of movement, actually. Yeah. But it's all on the pace. Lucky. John's turn for glory now. <laughs> I'm not mentioning glory all the time. Birdie put.
And there. Mm. So it looks like we got another par, lads. Oh. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll get through this later. They're gonna come. They're gonna come. Well done. On to hole number four. Four. So, uh, what's the best way to play this hole, Steve? So, yeah, lovely hoe, my favourite hoe on the course, and you can see the video Big Old Geese channel. Yep, we did a previous one of that. 284 par 4. Doesn't sound much, but it dog legs left and drops down to the hoe. So, it's about positioning. First shot up to the plateau, so, and then it gives you a nice shot onto the green. But the green has got a pond front left, back left you got all trees and shrubs right. So the shot is, play up here, leave yourself about 120 in. Okay. You can go for the green, but you are going over- All that. All of that. And upon. Talking to the pro Bobby here, he's hit it once, and he plays a natural draw. Yeah. Mine's a natural fade. I was thinking about going yeah, for it yeah. today, These are natural but fade. not doing it. Let's just get someone in play, shall yeah. we? Yeah. I think it's got too much club, yeah. But you're gonna well, we'll find out. He's no, fine. Right. I hope he plays his own game. Then listen to his dad anyway. Well, exactly. Did I? No, I never listened to mine. mine. Well, listen mine. Left. So obviously I'm not going to go for it, I'm just going to try and hit a hybrid up there. And obviously Neil's moved again. Oh sorry. There we go. That's the way Neil, don't worry, it's fine. We're used to you by now. Absolutely. Living Devon. Yeah. Well, okay, you've got to say way. Actually, that's... Yeah, that's right. You cleared it. Yep. You cleared it? That'll be alright then, won't it? Actually, that'd be a good line. Both in play, in good position, so... I'm going to try and take it over the trees a bit more. Oh, he's he's gone for that. it. We're going to have a look. It's a good hit, I think. Ooh. Yeah, good hit, I think. That, Steve looks worried. <laughs> well, no, I'm shocked more than anything. <laughs> yeah, and that's Alfie. So, so all. That's Alfie. That's Neil. That's Steve, well done. I think we'll just take mine because it's, it's that, closer. That little bit closer. Yeah. There's uh, enough hazards on this hole without having to think about let's go another 10 yards, 20 yards back. Don't yeah, don't listen to it, Dan, I'll be whatever you do. I've got to get one in, at least. Well done. Being a bit closer, you can cut out a lot of the, the danger. Hopefully. So you've got the water there, water back left, and all that, that rubbish yeah. there. So hopefully. green slopes towards you as well yep. so you can pretty much throw it all the way there and I've pulled it very high that is pond splash I was going to do that on my shot Steve you <laughs> yeah. let me down now I think problem is on the light grass it's sitting up yeah so I've got right under it and in the air me and Neil are in the same buggy. We're both patting our pockets going, what happened to the ball? Oh, I know. If it weren't for these lads helping me out today, I don't know what I'd be doing. That's a good shot from John. Yeah, that's a good shot. Excellent shot. Oh, it's getting, it's getting better by the minute. <laughs> Great shot. I get one shot in every six holes, I'm happy now. Bug index two. Yeah. I've got a little bit left as well. Oh, put over his hop. At least he wasn't in the pond, Steve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a pond on the other side, isn't there? Sorry. Maybe he is. Oh, 
Out on the right, coming round a little bit. Not coming round enough. Not enough. Devon's here. We're taking mine, mate. We're taking John's taking shot. Mine. Fantastic. I did buy a hole number four. Okay. <laughs> that was a lovely shot. And actually, it's um, an uphill part where you are. So oh, like, like I knew what I was doing, Steve. Look, yes. yeah, I yeah. think you knew exactly what you're doing, John. Yeah, of course. But like we said, it's a stunning hole. This beautiful, beautiful hole. That's the pond. The lads are just taking the buggies around the other way. Gonna look on the green. Neil, just on the back edge. Me, look at me. I know. One shot out of six hole. That's all I want. Flag in all right, John. Oh, uh, you can leave it in for downhill slope. Go on. <laughs> Uphill slope. Well, you downhill where I'm looking, I'll be by eyes, I'll tell you. <laughs> so we're taking John's lovely second shot, and this is a birdie. Slightly right. So. Yeah, I'd say right edge. It's not hard enough, but yeah, definitely got that right hand. Think it's not hard enough. Alf is up next, let's see what he's learnt from John's putt. Yeah, he did find out much from Mike. <laughs> Bit speedy. Too far out there. Yeah. Too far. In between those, Steve would be absolutely yeah. perfect, I think. Those, be lovely. In distance and direction. Better, better. Ooh. Not better. Little too right, pacey. Okay. So I've learned absolutely nothing from any of them. I'd like to point out, it's quite possible that I still might be closest. <laughs> so, uh, <very> well. <laughs> That's not an achievement, but anyway. Well done. Oh. I'll take yours. Well done. Uh, <laughs> Off to hole number uh, five, I believe. Number five. Yeah, let's go. Another First par. par three's coming up. Right then, Steve, we're on to the first of the par threes. Yes, fifth hole. Uh, my one and only hole in one hole. Yeah, as well. I'll, 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 I'll take you around every hole and tell you what I've done. It really is the Steve's favourite. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yes. This is Steve's favourite course. This is your life, golf life, isn't it? So, um, Al sapped it with his Milesy Ranger. Okay. Um, 146 okay. yards. Does play uphill a bit, so maybe playing about 150. Yep. So, okay. uh, bunker on the right on the slope, bunker, bunker on, the, on the left. Very deceiving because you're sheltered from the wind. Yeah. But there is a bit of help. You've got the turbine. Not okay. a windmill, a turbine. But well, the turbine's going round, yeah. Uh, so it tells you which direction the wind's going. He's, very, he's incredibly technical, isn't he? Yeah, it's very know. impressive. I'm very impressed with him, honestly. I've, I've been watching Neil Allen. His, yeah, yeah. His watch, watch it, I've watch been watch taking it. notes, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I ain't coming out of there, mate. I'll be there with you in a minute. I'll have a go. You were going to zoom on the green, but oh, we'll be zooming on the green for you near the flag there. No pressure or anything, you know. Well, big right, bit of a drift. Coming in. That was a nice bounce. It's just the back of the green, I, I think. I was going to say, it looks like it's up there, isn't it? Off. Yeah. It's up there somewhere, I think. A rare occurrence from one of my shots there went straight. Oh, they did a beautiful job there. What I was doing, John, I was looking at the turbine and taking that into consideration. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be taking the turbine into consideration, yeah, depending on what, what direction it is, yeah. Well, it's over. over. It's a good oh, line, John. No, I don't know, but not enough for, no. not enough to better Neil. But straight again. But straight again. Yeah, you'll get it. Oh, do you know? That's a lovely shot. Yeah, I know, yeah, he's pulled himself up. But it is oh. short. Oh, oh, but it's crept up. It's bad start. Shot. Well. It's on the green. Well done. One quite a hole in one. Well, no, but, <laughs> but it's up I'm there. I'm very pleased with that, mate. Well done. So, it's on the green. Oh, it's on the green. Anything on the green. Super I'm happy Steve. with. So, again, another uphill putt. I'm just proving I've got to swing this right. There he is. You don't have to walk a long way back to line Sorry. up. Sorry, yeah. Right. I like coming back. Uphill, slight left to right, I'd say. Okay. I thought, yeah, I, needed, I, thought I needed a nappy then, but I'm all right. Got 
nice. That looks nice. Oh. I didn't see the line. I thought you were looking at the line. <laughs> Now, didn't even hit it. It's it. Let's go on to the next. Okay, then Steve, last hole on this first part of the videos. Yes, second of the par fives. Okay. 476. Pretty much straight down. You have got a lovely tree right in the middle of the fairway. We do. This is the Oak hole tree. on the golf day that we use for the longest drive because of the tree. Yes. Yeah. So, again, slopes right to left. Right to left. So, favouring the, the top side of the uh, fairway okay. is the preferential shot. Nothing really exciting happened to me on this hole, so okay, I'll good. skip that one. Oh, that's good. Lads, we got all of this one. Oh, like a great shot. Right to left, go around the slope, by the way. Be that bad. Oh, that's cut in a corner. Or not. Probably not. You should find that one. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm knocking you down for a fall and with no need. I know I don't need taking a shot here. He nearly didn't take a shot either. <laughs> so I forgot about the step. He forgot about the step. <laughs> I mean, you must play this place five times a week and he's never forgot about the step. Right. Right, that's giving me freedom to swing hard. Oh, he did. That was very high. But it's kind of in the right place, I suspect. Yeah, it might be left of the might tree, so... But we're going to have a look, lads, because we've got people coming behind, so you don't need me at the moment. Just in the rough, you think, Ab? Good drive there, Ab. Good in the middle of the fairway. Mine's gone high. Did I lose a lot of distance? First saw it go in the rough. Do you think you saw it go in the rough? Yeah. So, Neil's just picking no, his up. Well. Alfie, great shot, mate, on the Cheers. fairway. Just slightly behind your dad for once. So, um... Oh, well. For once, yeah, so we're oh. going to take Steve's. <laughs> but this is obviously we're left of the tree, that's yeah. there, so it gives you a good lie. Uh, you're looking about 200. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's so the, hard to try and do this. 150 marker just up there on the left, yeah, just after the tree. So you're looking about 200, 210. Yeah, let's go down a bit closer, yeah. Oh. Now we're right of the tree. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that, Dibber. <laughs> I won't tell the pro about that one. Honestly, it's, like, it's like having Cornish nearly with Dibbits like that. <laughs> Just so green keeps show. <laughs> Repair my Dibbits. I'm sure uh, the other Neil will be watching this at some point. I reckon it's because he's Cornish. You know, he likes probably got mining stock or something. Is why he digs <laughs> such deep Dibbits when he it's full. It's a bit of a tricky lie, this one. It falls above your feet. Oh, don't say we picked a tricky lie, Dibby lads. Yeah. And then he hits that. Oh, but it caught the tree. Did it go through all right? That's a shot. Better. Lovely. Right, so let's get him down there. Shot, Alfie. Yeah, yours got through that. I saw yours go so through, John. I aim for the gap, mate. Yeah, swing it, yeah. find the gap. Right, we're going to find um, Alphys, I think. <laughs> so, Neil couldn't find his ball, but he think it's still stuck in the tree. It's up a tree. Steve's landed down from the tree. Mine was, well, mine wasn't too bad, actually. But, Alphys is there. Well done. That looks very good. Very good indeed. Go on. Oh, oh. Oh, that's oh. That was excellent. Point hidden. Well, Is there any there's point always hidden? a point because it might go in the hole, but not a lot, really. No. Oh. 
Or we're low. Or low. <laughs> Oh, you've gone very hard. Landing softly hard. Yeah. Oh. Look, we started with the TV show, we'll go down with the TV show, won't we? Do you want to hop out and set the camera up? No, it's okay. Right. Don't think we need to. That just be a simple pattern. So great, great chip, huh? Yeah. I'm that confident. I'm not even going to take my putt to the green. That'll be the first birdie. Finish one under, which would be good. Yeah. Hopefully, the start of the uh, the birdie train. I'm that confident. I've not bought a pair. Well, nor have I. No, nope, that confident. Well, Very well done. That. Very well done. So, green keepers behind. Lovely green keepers. Oh look, they actually stopped. They did him. Okay. So, thank you very much, everybody. Well done, we finish on a birdie. birdie. Well done to the tree biz. Well, well done to Devonshire Neil for throwing the odd shot. And, for and well done for me for putting one <laughs> shot in out of the whole thing. So, that's fine. So, please, please, please watch part two. And if you get this far on part two, watch part three. I don't know why everyone <laughs> kind of happily you will stop. Because, yeah, it I know it's boring sense, getting virus, but we're trying to make it exciting. So, thank you very much to Chathorn. Uh, we're going to crack on for hole number seven on video number two. For his quest continues, gentlemen, and we're on the birdie train now.